Crowd voting has begun for a very intriguing LEGO Ideas contest. This is the If We Could Turn Back Time 80s contest, where hundreds of entries for potential 80s themed sets were submitted, and LEGO narrowed those submissions down to five projects. Whichever of the five projects gets the most votes from fans like you and me will become a LEGO set probably in 2025, maybe 2026. Right away, it's already a broken contest because these five submissions break this rule right here, which says choosing to base your submission on any current or previous LEGO set with an appropriate IP will not be accepted. Uh, you do know four out of the five of these have had LEGO sets before for LEGO Dimensions. Yeah, Gremlins, Goonies, Beetlejuice, and E.T. If anything, I think this is confirmation that LEGO doesn't count Dimensions licenses as licenses with sets. They just count those as Dimension sets and not, say, a LEGO Gremlin set. Regardless, the only property that has never gotten any LEGO thing before is the Karate Kid. This is based off the wax on wax off scene, which is probably the most iconic scene from the movie. And in part because this hasn't been a license that we've gotten from LEGO before, this is my favorite out of all of the five submissions. However, I also think I like the build of this the best. It's probably the least iconic out of the five builds. I don't know, I guess it's competing against the Goonies. But this house right here is just a perfect encapsulation of a California house. I like that particular roof design, the power lines. The interior isn't like anything to write home about, but it's still pretty cool. I mean, look, I'm, I'm saying this as a Florida person. But when I think of like California houses, yo, I think of this house. I, I probably even think of this scene, the wax on wax off scene. <laughs> but it, it does have this uphill battle where we don't really get that much of a view inside the house. So Lego is going to have to take a lot of liberties to capture this house's interior. I mean, that's something that Lego has done before, though, with, say, the Ghostbusters HQ from 2016, where the interior was basically their own creative liberties. Here's the thing, LEGO also announced from this five project selection that two sets will be made from this contest instead of the previously stated one. So we're going to get an extra set. Now we don't know if it's going to be an extra set based on one of these five sets, so we'll get two out of these five sets, or if we'll be on another pool of projects, because like I said, there were hundreds of projects submitted, so I almost feel like this will be a second selection round that's based on another five projects. We'll have to wait and see. But any of the projects could win, and I would be happy because I think all five of these projects are interesting LEGO sets. You know me, I'm into dollhouse LEGO sets, and what, we got like three dollhouses here. One of the five is the Beetlejuice house. That might be the most iconic out of like all the houses in these submissions. It just has that uh, model-like look. I would not mind seeing that made, though it does have some feelings similar to, say, the Nightmare Before Christmas project, which we all know is getting a LEGO set, what, like this year or something? It has a really fascinating modular design, and the interior has more to work with from the movie. There's also the Goonie ship. This is pretty crazy. I mean, it's not only the ship, but you have that whole grotto section. This one almost seems like they would have to massively downscale this to like a $200 set. But that's a completely different sector than, say, Suburbia captured here. So I do like that variety. Though I will say Goonies is the least interesting out of the five properties here. It's just the one that I'm the least attached to from my childhood. All other four movies are ones that I do have memories from my childhood in one way or another. The E.T. poster was one that I believe was just a separate submission. I, I saw this before. I love this. I think this is a great tribute to, you know, Hollywood history where you have that iconic poster captured. It's creative. It's recognizable. Yeah, I wouldn't mind this at all, but I will say I do want that less than the three houses. I do just like Dollhouse Bill's the best out of everything Lego. And the last of all the submissions would be the Gremlins house. This was one that has been submitted a couple times, giving more of a winter village feel because of course the house is set during Christmas. The design of this does have the most, I guess, uh, close to other Lego sets. Again, like I said, winter village-esque. The interior is pretty comfy, but doesn't have anything that really stands out. It's just a really nice suburban house interior. But yeah, I think this might be the least interesting out of the three houses. As I said, the one I want to win the most is the Karate Kid set. Again, the house is the most unique and I can't compare this to other houses in LEGO. 
the design of this has a very recognizable scene that you could even probably put a quote at the bottom. Please pick this one. Everybody go and vote, go and vote, go and vote. <laughs> now the one that I think is most likely to win is, well, I'm actually not sure. I mean, the most popular out of these movies is probably Gremlins or E.T. Beetlejuice is getting a sequel though. It almost seems like the timing of that is just a little bit off. Maybe if this contest was a year ago, and I can't find the other submissions, but there were so many interesting new properties that we haven't ever seen in LEGO. So it is kind of lame that they just chose four properties that we have seen from LEGO, but whatever. At least the submissions are all strong sets. So while the one I want the most is Karate Kid, I think my second pick would be Beetlejuice. But let me know which of these is your favorite in the comments below, which you think is the most likely to be picked. Subscribe here for more LEGO news commentary and fun LEGO videos in between, and I'll see you later. Peace out. Bye.